Quite, quite an interesting, quite, an, quite a personal uh, interview with Nicola Sturgeon, who's the head of the Scottish National Party, uh, who you know are, are the, the main government in, in Scotland, main party in Scotland, run the government there. Um, and she, she said that uh, women who don't have children are dismissed as cold-hearted. Uh, can I say? Can I say that word? What B, word is that? B aster, the well, female dog. Well, give me, give me the word, and then I'll. I'll what? I can't hear. <laughs> well. Then it's your fault. Uh, cold-hearted bitches. No, you can't say that. Oh, <laughs> right. Well, I've got, in, I've got in trouble before for saying stuff. So uh, she, she said, uh, you know, the women who don't have children are dismissed as that because they're prioritising their careers over having a family. And uh, she, she also said that in 2016, she sadly revealed she, she suffered a miscarriage um, five years earlier. So five years, so that would be 2011. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's, that's terribly sad, of course. And, and she says the, the perfect illustration. So, you know, she gets this focus. And I think Angela Merkel, another, you know, world leader. Yeah. Um, and Theresa May has, had it as well. Yeah. Uh, so she, she says the perfect illustration is Alex Salomon, who's the previous leader of the SNP. Uh, she said, I can't recall a single interview he did in his entire time as First Minister or SNP leader about why he didn't have children. Although I can answer that. It's because he, he couldn't pin a woman down for long enough to actually impregnate her. And if, if they ran upstairs, he was lost. He'd, they'd run out a puff after a few steps and just decide to sit down and have a Mars bar instead. A lot of what uh, Leo's saying tonight is tongue-in-cheek. Uh, it's no. satire. Uh, <laughs> some of it he thinks, so you'll have to, to tell the difference. Um, look, Leo, the, the thing is, it's, you know, we can debate and, uh, the rights and wrongs of Nicola Sturgeon's premiership in terms of her policies, uh, but it's not right, is it, for a woman to be judged, especially someone in power, for not having had kids? Oh yeah, ab absolutely, and especially when she, you know, she suffered a miscarriage. You can imagine the, you know, the personal pain that that would that would cause her. And for all that, I disagree with her uh, politically, uh, and think, you know, the, her and her government aren't doing a good job with, with Scotland, or taking Scotland in the right direction, or just have the the right idea. They're making Scotland into, into a very parochial, inward-looking country. Um, you know, this is obviously a, a, a tragic, tragic thing, and you know, she's obviously acting. Um, with with honour, and she thinks she's doing the the, the right thing. So it's, it's sad to see that she's suffered this this personal trauma. Indeed. I mean, do you, do you think that there's a perception that if you don't have kids, you're somehow a bit selfish or, or either gender? Well, well, there is a perception, definitely. Otherwise, this wouldn't be a story. Nicola Sturgeon wouldn't be saying it. I mean, it's very difficult to bring a family together and break up a union at the same time. So uh, I, I, you're working very different muscles there, aren't you? You are indeed. Um, but we shouldn't take away from the fact that she makes a very valid point. I think you know women are judged very differently. I mean, Boris makes lots of children, so <laughs> we true, we know it's possible, but he doesn't have to do anything about it once that bit's happened, does yeah. he? Well, what he's done, <laughs> he, you know, he got Brexit done, right? Yeah, he got he that did. election victory in 2019, and and now he's tackling. Uh, global depopulation. Mm. And I think he'll be at that for many years to come. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to be honest, he's doing a sterling job. I mean, he, the, for, uh, his legacy should be, yeah, like you say, the repopulation of Britain, which is, which is essential.